guess Creality wants to let you know that size, performance, and quality doesn't matter. Take for instance this uh, 30 millimeter hot end fan. Yeah, not exactly quality, performance, and size, is it? That sound, quality. I've been getting a lot of heat creep on my prints and that's totally unacceptable. Time to dish this 30 millimeter fan with a 40 millimeter hot end fan. Head over to Thingiverse.com and visit Richard Robertson. Link is in the description below. He created an adapter so we can use a 40 millimeter hot end fan. Yes, you will need to use high temp filaments when printing this. You'll also need a replacement 40 millimeter fan and six screws. I went with an RGB fan because it's pretty cool. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You looking for a PCB manufacturer? Look no further. PCB prototyping, SMDs, stencils, PCB assembly, flexible PCBs, and advanced PCBs. Huh. Just want a quote? Well, no orders too small or too big. You want five? You want 500? You want 5,000? Build a quote here. What's this? They offer 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injected molding. <laughs> it's a one stop shop. Yes, again, they can help you with your assembly. Things get a little out of hand, they'll build the board for you. Pretty darn sweet. Again, they offer advanced PCBs as well. They also have a great community section where people share their products or their inventions, actually. It's great to go ahead and review what other people are working on. Thank you, PCB Way, for sponsoring this video. And now let's carry on. It's time to replace that hot end fan with something cooler. Ha! <laughs> See what I did there? Of course you did. Time to remove these two screws that's holding on this cover. Man, I feel like it's deja vu, like I've done this before. Huh. Anyways, yeah, that's a little screw. Decided to stick on for a ride. We're going to remove that. And please be careful because this park cooling fan is tucked behind this little retainer. Now let's set this off to the side. Looks like we have a zip tie in our way. Well, no longer. Please be careful not to cut any wires. Now we're going to remove this janky piece of crap 30 millimeter fan that's been causing a lot of heat creep. Yes, it's just janky. Remove these two screws and it'll come right out. Now Corelli has a hot glue addiction, so please be careful when trying to remove this hot end fan plug. And I have my 3D printed part here. Gotta make sure that's uh, printed with high temp materials. And we got our uh, two screws. They are two M3 by eights, and you want to pre-thread these because if you're gonna try to thread them on and then try to attach it to the hot end, <laughs> you're gonna have a fun time. So, do yourself a favor, pre-thread them. It will make it a lot easier. Trust me, I had to reshoot this about four times until I gave up and uh, pre-thread it. Much easier, as you can tell. Chances are your cooling block is made out of a softer material like aluminum, so don't over-torque those screws. Otherwise, yeah, it'll strip. Oh. It would have been easier to plug this in before the fan shroud, but just in case if you're an idiot like me, you could always use like an Allen wrench to push in the connector for your 40 millimeter fan. Did I mention that you should pre-tap the holes with the screws? Yes, do it to all four, including these. These are four M3 by 12 screws. They'll save you a lot of pain and agony. Now you'll still see I'm fidgeting around with these screws. That's because this part was printed with polycarbonate carbon fiber and it really doesn't like to be threaded all that well <sighs> yeah so enjoy the knuckles the fingers and uh, eventually we'll get to screwing around i'll catch you in a few seconds Now I know that you were highly entertained with me screwing, so now we're going to go ahead and plug it in and give it a test run.
successful test. Now it's time to power it off and seal it up. Ah, zip tie. Careful not to cut a wire. Put the last two screws on and we'll be done. Now, the quality of the 30 millimeter fan is definitely questionable. That's the original one from when the machine was purchased and it's been making noise ever since. I've been getting the heat creep on a lot of my prints and I believe replacing the 30 millimeter with a 40 millimeter hot end fan is the correct way to go. I mean, look, it looks like it's a natural fit. Let's plug it in and turn it on. Look, Lisa, it glows. Ooh. I'm going with a Jesse Pele, pure cyan. Layer height's 0.12 and wall is 1.2 at 35 millimeters per second. Let's see how this print turns out. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of vases. I don't like really printing them, but this caught my eye. It's a design by Clockspring. It's a reciprocal vase. You can go to myminifactory.com users Clockspring. <laughs> I figured this would be a nice challenge for this printer. Let's go ahead and take it off and see what it looks like. Now I printed this actually for the wife and I wanted to find the coolest design I could find out there and Clockspring nailed it out of park. This was pulled off directly from the printer. You'll see a little bit of stringing and overhang right there, but man, there's a lot of stuff going on in this face. Get a little zoom in on the top. This is a 0.12 layer height. Look at the inside. It's just, I think it's cooler than the outside. <laughs> Let's zoom in on here. Look at that. I mean, I really can't even detect the layer lines all that much pretty darn cool yeah very smooth well let me know what you think comment below it's a pretty good vase or not i thank you for tuning in to tripods garage please have a pleasant day evening or weekend or whenever you decide to watch this video thank you and have a great day you like it yeah you do good job